commitment is real, then we follow his way first and foremost by seeking forgiveness from sin. And this is very, very important. So important that on one occasion, Aisha radiallahu anha had asked the Prophet sallallahu about an individual who had lived before their time, who was known as a very good man. He used to be so generous, he gave away wealth left and right. And he was a, he became like a proverb of goodness and charity and generosity. And when she asked the Prophet ﷺ about him, he said, he is in hell. And she was shocked. As people are commonly shocked. Why would that happen to such a good person who has given so much, been so generous and everything? The Prophet ﷺ said, because he never once stopped and asked forgiveness from Allah. He didn't see himself in need of asking forgiveness from Allah. He was good. He did all this good. But because his intention was impure, his intention was corrupted, he never thought to once call out, O oh Allah, forgive me for my sins. So this expression of humility, this is something which is critical to the faith of a true believer. That he or she turns regularly to Allah in forgiveness, seeking forgiveness. So Prophet Muhammad had said, Kullu bani Adam khatta. وَخَيْرِ الْخَطَّائِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ All of Adam's descendants constantly make errors. Commit sins. And the best of them are those who regularly turn back to Allah in forgiveness, seeking forgiveness. So this is something we need to incorporate in our day-to-day -day life. It's something we spoke about during Ramadan and about how Ramadan will purify us and we spoke about it then. That this was an integral part of fasting. Similarly, because fasting is a principle of life, it is an integral part of our day-to-day -day life. and expiate from us our evil deeds. We ask forgiveness for the sins and we ask Allah to expiate for the evil deeds, things that either we forgot 